What's up gang? Welcome back to my house! Yes indeed, back in the game with another build video and today we're going to be looking at something slightly small and slightly different. So this was a present that uh, our Liza gave us at TF Nation. It's a miniature Kabea model kit from Brave, the uh, post-Transformers Takara super robot thing. And this guy's name is King X Kaiser. He's got a lion on his belly and a truck mode and uh, like a miniature guy, I don't know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this open and throw it together. What do you reckon? Are you down? Now it's gonna be a bit weird opening this because you've got to tear off this strip to get in there and uh, once it's done it's never going back so <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Are these rare? Are they old? I can't find a year on here but there is a web address so it can't be that old. I feel like there's just gonna be a single serving of cornflakes in there. <sighs> okay here goes, this doesn't feel good. Ooh, with a message. Fourth you from Doomface, an ex Kaiser from me to you. Sorry the box got squished. Oh, well, it's ruined forever anyway now, isn't it? Come on, let's just do this. Come on, little baby camera. Document the soiling of history. Okay, what do we got? My gosh, there's a fair few bits. And they're all very small. This could be a disaster. As if my life isn't already one of those. Is this silica gel? Oh, that's right, they come with gum, don't they? Nasty, horrible, dry, cardboardy gum. I'm just gonna... Oh, the instructions are printed on the inside. I'm gonna have to ruin this thing. <laughs> Why you do this to me? Hey, there we are. God, that's so small. Which I believe is what your mum said. Right, so first thing looks like we're making the tiny baby bloke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces and like six stickers on a thing that's gonna be this big. So that's nice and confusing. They're all marked with a one. One there, and a one here, because this is kit number one. So we need one, two, oh God. Unreliable focus, white parts, and a white backdrop. All right, give me a second, I may have an idea. Here we go, it's more like it. Things are slightly visible. One and two, and that needs to go here. It's a tiny, tiny clip right here. That just needs to pop in there. God, this is gonna be one small dude. That's how that goes. <laughs> Look how tiny this, he's like a Titan master. Can you see him? Look at this. Oh, he's so little. It's like a whole chest and head unit. And that's gonna be the front plate. So we need to do all the arms and that first. 20, 21, 33, 34. Oh my God. <laughs> These are the arms. They're like dandruff. And we need 33 and 34. Oops. Oh my God. It's all going wrong. Oof, so fiddly. Right, he goes there and this needs to sit in this little recess. Jeepers creepers. Those are both words. Japers creepers. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. We're going in, we're shutting this guy up. Blam, there he is. Doot, 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 doot. That kind of works. I get it. I'm feeling it, I'm on board. Tiny little power master looking dude. He's like minimus, minimus, minimus Ambers. We're doing stickers already. Oh, <laughs> there's loads. There's two full sides of stickers and they're all tiny. So eight, nine, 32 and 31. Look at the size of, next to my fingernail even, that's absurdly small. Oh, bitches. Uh, uh, oh, get on there, go on. I feel like every step in this build is gonna be an emergency. Uh, come on, get on there please. Yep, yeah, there we go. Hey, cool. It's like a miniature face and then some pants. Some cool red pants. It's like an upside down Wonder Woman, isn't it? Mon 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 Mondo Man, why not? Oh, I saw Justice League last week. Wasn't too bad. I get what the problem was, because next to Marvel, you know, people said the same stuff about uh, Civil War and like Batman versus Superman. I think people gave Civil War an easier time because it was better than Batman versus Superman. But I didn't see Batman versus Superman, so that argument doesn't apply. Nevertheless, I did kind of enjoy Justice League. I get why people didn't like it, but it was fine. It's a fine movie. I think he is looking acceptable. Can you see him? Jeepers, he's like a minuscule G1 getaway. Good start. And the next step is to transform him and apply yet more stickers. 
okay? And those go here, and that flips round. Neat. Oops, okay, that's gonna be an issue. Jesus Christ, 44, 47, 45, 21, 10, 11, and seven. God, that's loads. <laughs> oh, come on, mate, get it right. This is not a kit that was designed for big, lumpy grown-ups. This was designed for tiny Japanese children with actual skill and dexterity, not this Shrek-like Westerner. This thing's got more stickers on it than like a Titan's Return Voyager. It's the size of the top half of my thumb, so then it's just wheels. So is Kabea from Takara? Because I know there's a lot of like uh, Star Saber kits and uh, the Combaticons and lo a lot of those. And Brave is a Takara thing, so is, is, is Kabea just a Takara, like the gum brand? There we are, authentic rubber tires. We have one baby space car. It's like Psycho from the GoBots. Why do cars not look like this now? It's the future, it's 2018. And all we've got is Teslas. That is quite possibly the smallest thing I've ever made. I've made heavier farts. One tiny car in the bank. Okay, moving on. Looks like we're doing uh, the rest of it now. So we need eight. Four, 16 and 28 and all of them need stickers <laughs> oh, God. it's this little uh, peculiar triangular wedge boy right here cutting pieces off sprues again wow I've missed the feeling I feel like I've been doing stickers for weeks 16 is this one Ponk. there we are it's like a Star Wars ship and four I believe it's going to be one of these yep this guy right here Getting straight into the big stuff. Relatively big stuff. So this one needs a sticker number 30. Really not terribly clear where that goes. I don't even know what bit this is. Oh, it's a kneecap. So this guy needs to go on this little ledge right here. Can we see that? Can we see that baby camera? He's no help. <laughs> there we are. And the top of the leg needs a little black detail because why not is any of that in focus god damn it <laughs> and number eight needs sticker 19 so this whole thing here is sticker 19 i, I guess it has to wrap around pretty close little t-shape on the front and then this little arch goes around the back oh and then when it all clips together then it'll have a okay okay i get it I'm, i get it so this little thing here goes in here Bam. And then this little nubbin needs to go here for the foot and we close it up real good with the other side leg panel. Go on you rat bag. Yeah. One brave ex-Kaiser long ass leg. Partial success. Now we can move on. <laughs> Let's pop him down here. Same thing for the other side. Shall we? Shall we? See if we can do it without looking. One of them. And one of these. Oosh. And we're done with that sprue already. Brilliant. We're making good ground on this child's model kit. And a foot, please. How do you like my enormous glass beer stein? It's like the manliest receptacle I've ever seen and I'm just using it for water. It takes a real badass to detox. Ugh. So same deal with the stickers. Need a little black stripe. And he goes on the kneecap, which is this bit. No, no, this is the uh, this is the waist. This is the crotchal region. And the kneecap is this little yellow stripe. Just for flavor, just for a little bit of flavor, a little bit of mustard. And the outer leg needs this thingy. Could of course do this when I've put the leg together, but you know, I much prefer to do things the difficult way, as evidenced by most of my life. This fella goes here. See this little hinge right here, he pops in there. Foot just pops on this baby nubbin right here. Clear that sticker out for a second and then close them up real tight. You're making it hard for me. Yeah. Yep, thereabouts. Okay, let's pop those here. So they can stand there creepily like they slightly need a wee while we do the rest of it. Nine and 10, these look like shoulder pads. Blam. And also blam. Gadoge. 31 and 32. Is that these? How can red and white look so good together? Like Japanese robots, they really nailed it, didn't they, with the color palettes. Friggin' Gundams and Braves, they all stick with the old red and white thing. So we have two of these, 
and two of these. And we just pop that in here. Forget this thing is gonna have to transform as well. Yeah, there you go. Opens up like a little door. I get it. Of course they need stickers, of course they do. Some kind of Thunderclashy wing motif. I sold my Thunderclash in the end. I just didn't want to be the one who steps on it, you know, and breaks the bloody thing. So those things, they do have a limited lifespan with the gold plastic and whatever. And that one was in pretty good shape because I did my thing with him. I made my video, I shared him with the world. And now it's time for him to bless somebody else's cupboard. There we are. Two cheeky shoulders, 25, 26, 12, and 11. Looks like some kind of arm assembly. All right, this is 25 and 26, the only black bits. Oof, that's markedly thicker, heavier plastic. These are joints though, they've gotta be, they've gotta be heavy duty, aren't they? 12 and 11. Clearly these are some kind of hand. So this one goes in here, and that little hole plugs into there. <laughs> Look at that, we got a little arm. Two kinds of elbow articulation, good God. Suck on that, Power Master Prime. And likewise the other side. Pop that in there, and pop this on here. Boosh, beautiful pair of robot arms. Next up, it looks like we're doing his back panel. Uh, we need 14 and 15, that's clearly these. These two big wing things. That was a Transformer, wasn't it? Some kind of weird rat bat repaint named Wing Thing. Or was it like an Action Master guy? I don't know. Anyway, that's that one done, brilliant. So 18 and 19, that's these two. Little manhole cover or whatever that's supposed to be and some kind of internal back assembly. So we take this, and this little stalk here needs to go through this hole, if we could. But first, let's do stickers. See that on there, there's like vague lines on that? It's plain that side and vaguely liney on there. Can you even see that? Yeah, four little lines and a plain side. So those need sticking up. And we have corresponding plain blue and stripy blue. So let's pop that off there, please. Not that one. No, not both of them. Jesus. That one. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. One of those. This is the easiest bit. This is the biggest sticker. I'm still struggling. Could it be because I am the world's greatest oaf? I think I'm up there. And the plain ones. Come on now. Let's just get this done. Anyway. <laughs> We pop that here, uh, and this one also here, like so, and that is going to cover those up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now these and those, with our powers combined, become some kind of creature. And we need these two nubbins as well to help out. I swallowed pills bigger than that. Now, right, so... Uh, I'm saying all the hesitation words I can because I can't figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do here. So this backpack needs to close up. Uh, the legs need to plug in right here. One here, like so. Yep. And another right there. Two arms and two tiny joint things. These need to face forward. God. All right, let's try this. That goes here. Eh. Eh. Yeah, and this goes here, like so, and then we can, yeah, all right, oops. <laughs> we shall run with it, pop that here, and pop this in here. And we have the basics, the basics on Brave X Kaiser. Okay, now what happens? We have number six, the lion face, the giant Predator King face mouth. Wasn't Predator King something like this before it was a Transformer? Probably. It follows with the whole chest lion face thing, doesn't it? Speaking of Predator King, there he be. <laughs> so this, the little hooks here need to pop over that. Really not sure. Well, it makes perfect sense. Look at that. It fits totally perfectly. So that kind of has to be it. And number five is this giant sort of scoop spoiler. So this goes this way around on here like some kind of cape. Come on, yeah, there he is, he's in. And of course this needs stickers, because of course it does. Right, what are we doing now? Face. Oh, Jesus. 
bear with me while I do this, this might take a little while. There's a little bit to do, and I'm truly unprepared dexterity-wise. Can we see a 39? Oh, that's just the entire face. <laughs> just the whole robot face. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, did it. That actually went pretty well. And then these are some kind of ears that uh, need to go on his ears. <laughs> Bam, straight on. Yeah, that was actually extraordinarily easy. Like easier than most Gundams have been, face sticker wise. I don't know if these are really sticky. I don't know if that's a factor or if they're just better designed. But either way, seems to be working out pretty well. Now we have standard issue robot crest. Whoa, look at that beast. There it is. Go on, get in there. Some kind of robot Shogun head. That's pretty extraordinarily good for something this size. And that whole effort just goes in here. Right, I think we must be nearly there, surely. So what we do now is we spread these wings, open the thingy. These open up, and these also open up. And now, <laughs> okay, we get this guy, and we pop him in there, in like actual robot piloting position. Crucifix Evangelion thing. Jimmy Smith's at the end of Tommy Knockers. Oh my God, look at that. Look how perfect that is. <laughs> this is the dream. This is the super robot dream. And let's just close them up real nice. I think close them up real nice is my beat the devil out of it. I just say it every episode regardless. And blam. And we have one perfect miniature brave. Can you believe it? Clearly there's a bit more sticker work to do, so leave it with me. Oh yes, the one remaining component, the extremely obvious sword. Let's pop him off. And there we are. Beautiful. Just call me Ulfbeth Wolfbear. Was that his name in Skyrim? Okay, let's just get this done first. So he needs these two incredible sort of yellow sapphired hilt things. What's that called? The pommel? The hand guard? I don't know. I don't know swords. Even though my double-handed went up to 100, still don't know the pommel from the... Uh, I don't even know another bit of the sword. <laughs> Bang! First of all, shins need 17 and 18. How are you enjoying this video anyway? You having fun watching me adhere a succession of increasingly tiny stickers? I'm quite enjoying the new Berry Tomorrow album. I'm kind of making peace with the fact that I mainly love metalcore. It seems every sort of year and a half I discover a new metalcore band that's been huge for years and I've just been ignoring them. Like Architects? I really love Architects. Who's next? Parkway Drive, maybe? I actually saw Parkway Drive like 10 years ago, opening for Caliban. But yeah, they're touring with Killswitch next uh, January, I think. So gotta do that. Parkway Drive, Killswitch Engage, Thy Art is Murder. Oh, catch me in the pit. Oh no. Where has that gone? There it is. It's pretty bad that whenever I drop a bit, it comes back off the carpet lightly coated with beard hair. I was a little bit concerned actually that once I'd finished this, I'd have to then paint it. So for me, stickers are a much better alternative because I'm such a klutz with a paintbrush, even though it's extremely fiddly. <laughs> it's at least doable. Oh God, that'll have to do. <laughs> oh, I haven't really got it within the lines, but it's near enough, bitch. Now, the problem, the problem here is I've got to screw up that one equally as that one. It's not perfectly within the lines, but if I get that one right, then it's going to look weird. It's about right. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon so. Oh, okay, that's all the robot mode one's done. So now, all we have to do is transform it and then do the rest in another mode. Good God. So we need to pop this fella out. Careful with the baby shoulder doors. Shoulder doors. Hey, it's a different kind of shoulder door. Normally the shoulder doors is the one on the back on like jazz. But this is an actual door in a shoulder. Groundbreaking. 1988. <laughs> right, so he's out. So close it back up. What do we do with the arms? We go swing them out all the way around and then inward, tilt it in, turn this forward and then down, forward and down. And he's got wheels, check it out. Stretch out. Oh, they've also got tiny baby wheels on. Look at that. This goes down. These come around. 
when I come around. Lots of early green day in these videos recently. <laughs> <laughs> right, so just a few stickers left then, so clearly these go here, so let's just do that. On it goes, and you mate. I'm really quite into how great this looks. Okay, this little blue strip needs to go here to cover up the rough edge of the red. And over here as well, please. This, can you see that has the tiniest uh, little stop lights on it? Wheels. Keep on turning. Don't stop it burning. The fire, I think, is on. Oh, okay, we've got lights for the front as well. Oh, God, one day this will be over. This has just been, like, the, the lion's share of this has been stickers. I don't mind. I'm not mad. It's just it's taking twice as long to put the stickers on than it did to make the bloody thing. I think that's everything. Number 25 I've missed. Oh, it's the nose. I've forgotten to give him his bloody nose. There he is. He hath a shiny nose. And let's just bash some little tiny circles on his wheels. And then I think we're about there. And there is four. So that, I think, is about the end of it. There we are. Marvellous. Flipping it, that was really good fun, actually. Despite all the uh, sticker pandemonium, that was a really fun little build. And what a beautifully charming little fella this is. My god, he's like a tiny sort of Power Master Predator King Gundam thing. And that whole chest Jesus thing. God damn it, that's perfect. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll take a bunch of nice high-res pictures, you're probably looking at them right now, and I'll pop them over the end for all to enjoy. So this has been a nice little treat, something slightly different for the channel. I've rather enjoyed dipping my baby toe into the world of Brave. And uh, cheers once again to Liza for passing me this thing at TF Nation. You really didn't have to do that. And I'll catch you on the next one for further Robo-related video content. What a time to be alive. Be sure to subscribe for more Theo's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.